Hello, this is Goody Goodson from the Evening News. I'm here today in Omaha, Nebraska, visiting the Michelob family. Here with me, we have Sarah, the mother. Dinner's ready. Chip, the son. Golly gee, dad's home. Robert, the father. Honey, I'm home. And grandma. My name's Beulah. Oh, Grandma. How was work? Work sure was smell. Hmm, what's for dinner? Chicken and broccoli. My favorite. Sure smells good. How was your day, Grandma? I took up knitting. Oh, oh Grandma. Grandma. What do you say we watch the tube? Look what's on. It's the war. Swell. Oh, bother. Sarah, how do you feel about the war? Well, I think of those poor soldiers. Their mothers, they died. Their mothers are suffering now. But I wouldn't mind my son going to war. So you're excited? Yeah, I am. I can't wait to get out there and kill this communist for the good of the country. Oh, son, you know you can't get in the war until after school. You're only 17. But I'll be 18 when I'm out of school. I'm getting out in June, and then I'm there. You sure are. And Robert, how do you feel about this? I'm excited for the war and my son to be a part of it. For we will be fighting the good fight. What about you, Grandma? Damn communists ruin everything. They killed my cat, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, Grandma. I support the war, though. America needs to help the Vietnamese get their freedom. And the Vietnamese can be finally free from the evil Ho Chi Minh. Hooray! So there you have it, America. This is just an average family in Omaha, Nebraska, reporting back to you in the studio. Hello, this is Shelby Schwartz, reporting from the Hunnicutt Maximum Security Prison in Spokane, Washington. I'm here talking to two prisoners, Charlie Davis and Joe Bailey. Charlie and Joe went to jail because they did not want to fight in the Vietnam War. Charlie, why did you not want to fight in the Vietnam War? Well, it was the way I was brought up. Um, I believe that all war is evil, and my conscience won't allow me to contribute to that kind of death and destruction. Okay, thank you. And why are you in prison today? Why do you think you are? Well, uh, I'm in prison because uh, I applied to be a conscientious objector and was accepted, so I was working in a, uh, a conscientious objector camp. But after a while, I decided that working in the camp still contributed to the machinery of war, and so my conscience wouldn't allow me to work in those camps. So when I refused to work, uh, I was put in prison. Okay, thank you, Charlie. And Joe, why did you choose not to fight in the Vietnam War? I feel that we don't belong there. It's not our country. And also, they're fighting for their independence. I don't see why we shouldn't agree with that. Okay. And why do you think you're in prison today? I was drafted for the war, but I refused to take the oath as a soldier and pick up a gun. The next thing I knew, I was in here. Okay. Thank you, Charlie and Joe, for talking to us today. And back to the studio, Sarah. Hello, this is Shelby Schwartz reporting from Vancouver, British Columbia. I'm talking to Fred and Edna Jones, who fled to Canada when Fred would not, so Fred would not have to fight the Vietnam War. Fred, why did you choose to Well, I didn't want to fight a war that I didn't believe in, and I didn't want to fight for the Vietnam cause. And my wife and I just recently got married, and I want to stay alive to be with her for a long time. And we also believe that life should be about love and freedom, and by fleeing to Canada, we'll be able to live that life. Okay, and are you against all war or just the Vietnam War? I'm not against all war because some war, to absolve the conflict, there needs to be a war. But with Vietnam, I don't believe that the U.S. had enough conflict to go to war with them. Okay, and Edna, how do you feel about never being able to return to America? Well, I love my country and I love my family, but I feel that it was necessary for us to leave because if we didn't, my husband would have to die for a cause that we didn't believe. Okay, thank you, Fred and Edna. And back to you in the studio, Sarah. Hello, I'm Ron, and I'm traveling with Platoon B outside of the DMZ. These men are on their routine perimeter patrol, but they have encountered some, some stiff resistance from the North Vietnamese troops. I'm not so sure we're going to make it out. Three members of the platoon are down so far. Let's talk to these soldiers about their feelings on being here during the war. Lieutenant? Well, you know, we've lost some men today, but I'm pretty sure that we're going to kill the Vietnamese and we will establish freedom for the South Vietnamese. He seems confident. And, and you, sir? Really scared. Uh, 
don't want to be here. Don't think we're going to make it. He doesn't think we're going to make it out, and he could very well be right. And how about you, sir? It is our duty to protect the freedom of Vietnam and of the world. I'm confident that we will kill all the Reds here in Vietnam. Thank you, Sarah. We're at China Beach Medical Facility in Da Nang, and a man was just brought into the medical facility. We're not sure why, but we're going to go in and see what happened. Hello, everybody. I'm from the new station. Oh, no. Sir, 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 sir,